to begin a new journey as husband and wife. This evening, the wedding ceremony that you spent years planning will be over. But the journey of marriage begins today. And this was created and designed by God to last the rest of your life. Both of you guys have had examples in your heritage of marriages that have lasted a lifetime, each ending only in the death of one of the spouses. Today, Ashley, you carry on your bouquet three symbols of that heritage. You have your great-great-grandmother's ring, who was married for 52 years before her husband died. You have another great-great-grandmother's handkerchief, who was married for 50 years before her husband died. And you have the wedding ring of your great-grandmother, who is with us today and was married 55 years before your great-grandfather's death. Forrest, you're getting married today with your father's wedding band. Your parents, John and Tracy Simon, were married for 30 years before your dad passed. Forrest, as you take on your father's wedding band as your own, carry on the legacy of unbroken marriage. Feel the encouragement that it gives that says you can do this. Your marriage can and should last a lifetime. Ashley Nicole Orta, life is so joyful and surreal with you. You've watched me grow into a man 
you see me at my best and at my worst, and you're still here. <laughs> I'm going to make an honest vow to you. I will fail you. I will let you down. But I promise to always put God in a relationship. I promise to always lean on him for guidance and direction. I promise to stand by your side no matter what, to always support your hopes, dreams, and ambitions, to back you up when things are great and we're, when we're battling the storm. I always date you and strive to treat you like it's our wedding day, every day, even as time passes. I'll continuously to fight for us and put God in our marriage. I want to read you a letter um, from my good friend, written in my own terms. Um, it's not too long. Take your time. Ashley, as we get a little older and get used to each other, we think alike. We read each other's minds. We know what the other wants without asking. Sometimes we ir irritate each other a little bit, but maybe sometimes we take each other for granted. But often like today, I meditate on it and realize how lucky I am to share my life with the greatest woman I ever met. You always fascinate and inspire me. You influence me for the better. You bring me so much joy. I love you very much. I really can't believe I fell in love with the girl of my dreams. I've been praying and looking for you, even when I didn't quite realize it. I know our love story was written in the books of life long ago. I'm so blessed to share my thoughts, emotions, and life with you. And God willing, I can't wait to call you my wife in the next five to ten minutes. <laughs> well, that's a good place to say amen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give me a second. I promise I wasn't going to cry. <laughs> Forrest, I hope you know how much I adore you. I chased you a long time, but you were well worth the wait. I cannot be more honored or blessed to be yours. You have changed my life so much and have made me such a better woman. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I wrote that in a letter to you after six months of dating, and here we are six years later. <laughs> Even then, without question or doubt, I knew we would be standing here today. From the moment I first saw you, I knew you would change the course of my life forever. Our love is so powerful and true, it will travel with us through the future as it has in the past. In six years, my love has never wavered, and I vow that it never will. I vow through each stage of our lives, I will be with you, support you, encourage you, and love you without hesitation. I vow to never go to bed angry, even if we have to stay up all night. And you know how I feel about my sleep. <laughs> it's true. I vow to honor you, respect you, and laugh at your jokes even when they're not that funny. <laughs> I vow to be the best wife, and one day the best mother to our children. Today, I am still captivated by your selfless, humble, caring and respectful nature. I thank God every day for bringing us together as I truly am the luckiest girl in the world today. Today is everything I knew it would be and more, and I cannot wait to be your wife. You're my favorite, and I love you with my whole heart for my whole life. I'd kiss you if I could. <laughs> All right. Since you've made your marriage vows with each other, and you put rings on your fingers, that only means one thing. And as a minister of the gospel, it's my privilege to tell you that you're now husband and wife. <laughs> but you can't kiss her yet. <laughs> We're going to do something else. In breaking these three strands together, Forrest and Ashley have demonstrated that their marriage is more than a joining of two lives together. It is a unity with God as well. They have chosen to allow God to be at the center of their marriage, woven into every aspect of it. Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves, but a cord of three strands is not easily broken. Forrest, you may kiss your wife. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you.